Hey everybody, my name is Mikey Bouchereau and I'm going to show you how I edit my audio podcast in Final Cut Pro 10. So to start out, uh, we actually use Skype to record everybody who is on the audio podcast show uh, and I use a program called Audio Hijack to actually record that. Now, I use this myself instead of something like QuickTime Player or something else to record my own audio because it allows me to get the audio from Skype um, record it as an audio file and I just use an mp3, it's a high quality mp3 uh, and it makes my channel, my audio, uh, the left channel uh, as a single audio channel and then everyone else's audio is the right channel so I have that audio file right here in my recordings folder uh, episode 14, this is it right here uh, so there's two different channels on it, uh, left and right, so it's dual mono if you would for Final Cut Pro now I'm going to go ahead and open up Final Cut and I'm going to go ahead and open up my library that I have set up specifically for this audio podcast now I've looked on YouTube to see if anyone has been talking about this or anything, but I actually use a multicam clip. Uh, you can actually see my previous edit here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a brand new one so you guys see step-by-step -step what I actually do to create my podcast. All right, so I'm gonna go to File, New, and do a new event for the project I'm working on. This is gonna be episode 14. Type that in there. And I'm going to import my media. So I'll go import and I know all the stuff is on my desktop inside the audio folder and there's the three files myself and two co-hosts. I'm going to go ahead and copy it into my library so that way it is all in that library and I can delete it off my desktop. This makes it easy for me to transfer my library from my desktop to my laptop and since it's just audio it's able to keep it nice and small to be able to move them around fairly easy. So I'll go ahead and import that media in. Now I'm going to select the audio, go to File, New, and create a new multicam clip. Now the nice part is I'm going to just kind of let everything be auto for this. I'm just going to go ahead and label it episode 14 as a multicam clip. Now I do have some specific settings here. I have it set to be uh, 720p, 60 frames per second. Old Final Cut 7 used to allow you to only edit audio on the frame. So that's where you can cut it, that's where you can fade it, those types of things. Uh, with Final Cut 10, I don't have that problem. So it's kind of old habits die hard, if you will. So I now have my multicam clip and I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. All right, so here's my multicam clip. It was very quick for it to sync everything up. Uh, it's put the audio tracks in a specific order. I'm gonna go and rearrange them. Put my audio first. Uh, you can notice I select my audio and it is set to stereo. I'm gonna change it to dual mono. Now the reason to change it to dual mono versus stereo is my audio was simply playing through the left side and everyone else was simply playing through the right. Uh, by switching to dual mono, my audio plays through both speakers and vice versa. The combined audio of my other two co-hosts play on the right. Now I've turned off their audio because I had them record separately and email that to me. And vice versa, I'm gonna label all my groups here. So when I switch back to my timeline, it's easy to see who is who. So I have myself, I have Danya, one of my co-hosts, and Eric. And so they're all set up here. I've also noticed I don't like to do audio fixes like effects inside this window, just because if I do it here, uh, when I go back to the timeline, specifically like on my laptop where it's not as fast as my desktop, I do have problems with the audio waveforms redrawing, it takes longer. Whereas if I go ahead and just simply do it in the timeline, they draw a little bit quicker. We're gonna create a new project for this, call it episode 14, put it in the right event. Again, set the audio as a 44.1 because it is an audio podcast, that's what we record at. And I'm gonna insert an audio gap by doing option W. And I'm gonna drop my multicam clip inside here, just E to add it in. Now I know my gap because of my audio start, I'm gonna go ahead and do control D, adjust that to 10, 30, how long it needs to be and I'm actually just going to jump back to a previous episode to grab our intro music very quick and I'll jump back to the previous timeline go to the beginning paste it in audio fades everything already there now here's the magic here this is where the magic actually happens is right now this is one editor you know this is one person's audio this is Danya's audio you can see the waveforms are kind of in here uh, and obviously I need to tweak it because her volume is a little low and everything so what I'm gonna actually do is because this is a multicam clip and with audio you can actually turn on multiple audio channels so I'm gonna turn on mine and Eric and I'm gonna go ahead and do expand audio components right down here 
and instantly gives me all the channels lined up, synced up for me. And you'll notice I have mono one and two, and that's because even though I turned off the other one, it still turned it on here. So I'm gonna turn that mono off, and just for the timeline's sake, I'm gonna call this, change it from mono one to Mikey. Uh, so now I know all three channels, who they are and everything. And as I play it back, Oh, we're just gonna... I can hear every single person. It's episode 14, hope you all enjoyed last. So what I'm gonna do now that I have this here, I'm gonna go ahead and do some quick audio adjustments. And just because I've put on the timer right before, I'm gonna go ahead and just copy my audio from a previous one. I'll paste my attributes. And you'll see I've added a compressor, uh, channel EQ, and a limiter in here. So just to give you my idea, I just used a preset for my channel EQ, male Vox 1, uh, my compressor. I went ahead and actually significantly adjust that to kind of boost my audio. It's radio, it's episode 14 of the podcast. And I threw a limiter on there to make sure that I don't clip anywhere. Hope you all enjoyed last week's show because this sure week enough, it's, it's working with gain reduction. So very quickly and easily i've gone through and i've thrown all my effects on there i'm gonna go ahead and add the same to eric here paste attributes and donya i know she has because it's a female voice i'm gonna go ahead and make sure i grab her specifically because it's a little bit different edit and paste attributes one more time and I'll just choose all of them. Again, channel EQ, compressor, and limiter on this. And you'll notice now my audio is now perfect. Levels are good. I don't have to worry too much about it. But just for good measure, I'm gonna go ahead and add a limiter to the entire clip. So I select the top, not specific channel, because these are expanded components. Go to my filters, go all the way down to audio and uh, levels, and then go ahead and drop that on there. So with the limiter applied, even if we went somewhere where it was loud and multiple people talking, it would not clip. Back with the mask, but I actually didn't manage to get a mask, so. Yeah, that Chewbacca mask is going all over the place now. It's so again, we are going to. So what makes this such a powerful program for editing an audio podcast is the magnetic timeline, because it's gonna work with what you wanna do. Unlike an audio program where if I was to cut something out, I would have to move all three audio tracks simultaneously, group them up and move them. This just does it automatically for me. All right, so obviously here's the beginning of the show. I'm gonna go ahead and trim it down real quick. So I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcuts, option left and right brackets to trim my start and end points uh, wherever my playhead is. This makes editing super quick in Final Cut 10. I'm gonna trim the head of the clip right where I wanna start at, right there, instantly from my audio, just to give you an idea. So you're with the resistance. Hello, what have we here? I'm a big deal in the resistance. Hey everyone, welcome back. So it moves my timeline and moves it right where I want my cut to be. Everything just slides back on magically because of the magnetic timeline. Also because while editing, because it's a multicam clip, as I find gaps there between one host to another, I can split the clip, just command B. And then again, use my option brackets to go ahead and trim the head of the clip or even the tail if I'm working the opposite direction. So I've been able to tighten something up on multiple sides. That's it, that's what I do to edit my podcast. I can trim things down, use heads and tails to clean it up. Also, you'll notice there's a gap here. I can go ahead and select that range. Don't have to switch to the range selection tool. I just stay on the normal arrow selection tool and I can hit delete, which will go ahead and disable the audio, not actually delete it. So I can always bring it back if I need it to. So I can just select a section somewhere, choose it, might expand my range, and then hit delete again and cleans it up. If I ever wanna bring it back, just select the clip, hit delete again brings it right back. So I can go ahead and get rid of silences that should be purely silent uh, when they're not 100% silent, uh, especially since my microphone doesn't actually have a mute switch on it. You know, you can hear right here. Glad to have you back here. You know, right there is a section and if I wanted to go ahead and just select it, I just choose that section hit delete, and now that whole section is silent. So really I've set this up mainly because oh, it's just the fastest way to edit with trimming heads and tails and just going through quickly and silencing all those sections very quick and easy. Uh, it does it all. Now what's really cool is when I'm done, and I'll show you guys in a second, is I've actually set up a preset in Compressor that allows me to encode this in the exact audio format that I like to uh, publish my podcast in. So I'm gonna go ahead and start editing this and we will continue to pick up in a minute.
indie. see you at indie popcon <laughs> yeah we'll see you soon see you soon bye guys Bye-bye now All right, now that I've finished editing, it was a quick edit, about a half an hour to get through an hour and 20 minute long episode. I'm gonna go ahead and export out uh, to my podcast preset that I created in Compressor and hit next and save it to where I want it to go. That's it. Hope you enjoyed uh, watching me edit my podcast.